In this lesson, we'll show you how to look around the model. The easiest way to look around the model is by using the Look Around tools on the right-hand side of the scene. You'll see a bar that has a variety of options. The one that we'll be using first is the Look Around button. It looks like an eye with arrows around it. If you click the drop arrow and select Look Around, you can use the mouse to look around the scene, as though from a first-person perspective. You can look up and down, left and right, wherever you move the mouse. Note, though, that this does not change your elevation. It's basically as though you're stationary and turning your head from side to side and up and down. The next option we're going to discuss is the Look At option. If you click the drop arrow again and select Look At, now when you click on an item in your scene, you'll zoom in on it and focus on that item. With this option, when you click on something, the camera will physically move to align your viewing scene with the item in a way that theoretically gives you the clearest view of that element. You can always click the Home button on the upper right-hand portion of the screen to return to the default view, and you can always click on new items to look at them. Note that the camera will focus on whichever face you click on the item. So if you click on a south-facing surface, the camera will focus on that surface. Similarly, just like with the stairs that we looked at first, if you click at something that faces up, the camera will look down at that surface. In essence, you're looking perpendicularly at the object. The last option is Focus. When you select this option, what you're able to do now is click at any point on your model, and it will effectively adjust your camera so that that point is the center of your model in terms of looking around. If you focus on a particular point by clicking on it, you'll see the camera shift. Now if you use any of the other looking tools, you'll notice that the camera moves around that point as though it were the center of your model, hence why it's the focus. Now let's try changing the focus. This time, we'll go with this column at the very corner of the model. When we focus on the edge of that column, when we start looking around, again, you'll notice that the camera pivots around that point. It is now effectively the center of view for your camera. The Focus tool can be very useful if you need to quickly change the focal point of your model so you can look around it in a particular way. Remember, as always, no matter where you get your camera to, you can always click the Home button to reset it to the default.